Hi, this is Catherine, and I am about, well, I am making my first Project Desires video. And it's taken me a really long time to get settled because I really knew, or I thought I knew, what my desire was, and I just never could get any energy around it. So what I realized after just sort of sitting with it and looking around for the signs is that I had actually smuggled in one of those um, but I can't remember what she called them, uh, justified means to an end or whatever, because I said I wanted to write this book on entrepreneurs and that that was my desire. And it's true that I do want to write that book on entrepreneurs. I'm going to write that book on entrepreneurs. But what really gets me going, I mean, what really lights my fire is I want to live in Italy. And I'm not sure right now that if it's forever or if it's just like spending three months on my sabbatical there. But ever since that thought has, that I've just sort of allowed myself to have it, like I swear my life is like all things Italy. So for example, so I wrote this textbook and it's being translated into Italian, which so to me, I was like, really Italian? Um, I realized that the favorite bowls that I've been using for like the last 10 years, I flipped them over the other day and realized that they're made in Italy. Um, I'm the chair of the sociology department at Dartmouth and I've been signing transfer applications for students. And I swear the last 10 have been from students who are going, guess where, to Italy. And then I go to a party and I meet this woman who I really, really like her and I find out that she's in the department of French and Italian and that she takes students to Florence like every year. And I was like, okay. But what really sort of cinched it for me that going to Italy is my desire is that I was telling my husband, babe, I, you know, I really want to go to Italy. I think this is my new desire. And so I was sort of sharing with him this, this vision that I had about what it would be like for us in Italy. And he said, okay, well, like, do you want to be in Rome or like, where do you want to be? And I said, no, I want to be in the country. And he said, really? And I was like, yeah, you know, I live in this country house. And I was describing what it was going to look like. And I'll do more about that later. But he said, well, you know, neither one of us speak Italian. He said, so it's actually going to be better for us to be in a city. And, you know, and I'm cooking and blah, blah, blah. And without missing a beat, I said, that's what the translator's for. And there was just like this dead silence in the kitchen. And I turned around and looked at him and he said, wow, he said, you really are, so one of us is going to be making a lot more money. He said, you're really like talking like translator money here. And I was, and I was like, of, of course, like to me, it was just obvious. Of course, you're going to have a translator. And so it made me realize that in my mind that like, I'm already there. And so now it's just going to be a matter of opening myself up to the possibility and just start make, start making the necessary steps in order to get there. So I asked myself, self, what do I need to do to sort of start moving in that direction? And the most practical thing is, you know, that my passport has expired, which is ridiculous because, like, I've lived three hours from the Canadian border. And I was like, okay, so get your passport renewed. I mean, that is, that's like the first easy step to let this happen. And... And then I thought, well, why haven't you gotten this done? And then I remembered that a few months ago, I decided to go to get my passport picture taken. And this is like where your fem types become really important. Um, I was in a hurry. I had lots of stuff to do. I looked like crap. And I was, um, and I was like, I'm just going to mark this off the list. And so I went, and even though my hair looked pretty bad, worse than it does right now, um, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to do it. I'm, I don't care what my pictures look like. It doesn't really matter, blah, blah, blah. And then I had these passport photos taken, and they were so not me. I mean, I'm not even going to say that they were ugly. I'm not even going to say that they were like, you know, they just weren't me. There's nothing in those photographs that reflected who I am. And my Frenchie said, no way. Like, there is no way that I am living with those photographs for the next 10 years. Like, like especially in Italy, come on. So anyway, so she has lost those photographs. And so part of the reason why uh, the plan got stalled 
is because, you know, I let my New Yorker decide when we were going to have our pictures taken, and the Frenchie said, like, no way. And the only reason that I'm doing this right now with my hair looking the way it is right now is because, you know, it really felt right. And my Indy was like, you know what? You have put this off way too long. You know what the truth is. And just do it. So there you go. Here's my video number one, and I'm sure there will be more in the future.